Yeah, it's funny in the in the movie you discussed uh, you know the international impact of this type of music and you know particularly your band on that level. You, and you say you played a lot of scary places. Like mm -hmm. you went into markets that a lot of bands didn't go into, and that's sort of how you broke into it because you went to places a lot of bands wouldn't go to. What, what do you think is the scariest place you ever played? Wow. Well, mm -hmm. I think one of the, the greatest stories we we found uh, in this tour, which is going to be a part of the extras in the in the movie is a kid we met in Israel and us coming into Israel and playing Israel which is obviously a very kind of hotbed in the Middle East and uh, this kid was interviewed and he's talking about the bomb shelter he has in his house how there's missiles coming over the wall every day how he's lost friends and family members to this violence that his generation has no concept as to why we can't all just mm -hmm. get along and mm -hmm. then we follow this kid into the show where there's Muslims, Catholics, Arabs, Jews, all coming in the door and leaving all that baggage yeah, uh, at the door. Hard. And it's right. just, it's amazing to see, you know, if we can just concentrate on the things we can agree upon, we'll probably get a lot farther. In Indonesia was sketchy. We went there. I've yeah. um, heard that for decades crusty. about bands. We, Going well, back to Deep Purple having problems. Dude, we, we went yeah. there and there was uh, this guy who somehow the, the sound company owed him some money or whatever. So the, we got there, the promoter hands our tour manager, Brian, this sack of like cash and American bills. And there's like an extra something like 40 grand in it or something. Right. And he's like, whoa, what is this? And he's like, well, that was in the updated contract. And Brian's like, we didn't send an updated contract. And all of a sudden there's this little dude who's like <laughs> with his boys in the hotel lobby. He's like, you give me the extra money. That's from when he owes it. And he's like, yo, I don't got any part of this dirt, you're, we gave him the money back. And that dude was following us around, you know, following Brian around. I made sure he got to his room okay. Cause it was wow. totally sketchy. And, and then, you know, we left and it was a great show. Yeah. Great show, the fans were bonkers. But like four days after we left, six hotels in downtown Jakarta blew up. Western owned hotels because there, it, there was huge, uh, you know, uh, Taliban training grounds in Indonesia because it's right. an archipelago and they're, they're all scattered throughout the islands. So my wife was like, yeah, you're not going back there anytime soon. Yeah, you know? And I'm like, okay, honey, I, I'll give you that.